good evening friends uh, i would like to warmly invite all uh, indian families in san antonio to attend a important event uh, which is going to happen tomorrow at 6 pm at uh, uh, community of church hall at vance jackson uh, this event is about uh, ancient science um, and their contribution uh, greater towards medicine and technology so it's going to happen at the 6 pm tomorrow uh, what this event is about so i want to mention in a nutshell uh, so we all uh, are coming across uh, batteries solar panels and uh, so many uh, important uh, technological stands in this 21st century i want to uh, uh, explore and introduce to young kids and seekers like what uh, it would have been existed uh, 3000 years or 5000 years or 7000 years before so here we have one of the finest uh, technology of batteries, which is lithium ion batteries. And then we have a LiPo battery, a lithium iron phosphate batteries available in market. But we have even a better technology which existed um, 7,000 years before, which was mentioned by Agastir in his works. That is uh, copper, zinc, copper sulfate and mercury batteries. Uh, to be surprising, those mercuries are used in NASA in their rocket launching as well as in the Mayan civilization as well as in the Egyptian pyramids and huge structures for launching something similar to flight structures, they have used mercuries. So that we need to keep in note. So we are going to see uh, how we have used uh, batteries in olden days, what science behind it. It is really surprising to know that drones, flights, energy production and uh, storage cells. There was a reference to part of battery, copper sulphate, copper zinc and mercury battery which was capable of generating a lot of electricity to power a you know, uh, flight or drone, something like that. There are so many different so areas we will be touching. So this is just one video. We will be sending series of videos on different technologies, science, and medicine how ancient Tamils had helped uh, and we had we can use them it's not going to be a debate but we are going to analyze uh, scientifically in a qualitative and quantitative and repetitive observable phenomenon so that it can benefit humankind for their upliftment thank you